Hey Sagittarius, this is your reading for August 2020, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. Thank you guys so much for coming back to watch your reading. I do appreciate it. I'm going to jump right in. This message may not resonate with all of you. Okay, this is a general read. Let's say that. All right. Give me cards here for Sagittarius. What is Sagittarius preparing themselves for? They're like, take this, take that. Okay. Do something for yourself. No. It says, do something for someone else. Give your attention to someone else. Okay? Want another one? They're saying, be in the present and dream of the... You guys are... You do this. Okay? My Sagittarius, you're dreamers already. Okay? You, you guys like to be on a move too. But they're saying, be in the present and dream of the future. When we dream, everything is possible. I feel like they're saying bring back that childlike energy um, in order to manifest. That's how we do it, right? Um, they want you to be happy, okay? Um, I also feel like they're saying do something for someone else um, because there is a possibility of love or good connections that may come in towards you here. Let's see. Let's grab tarot cards. Give me cards here. For Sagittarius. Be in the present and dream of the future. Okay. What is Sagittarius preparing themselves for here in August? Love. change good change though good things coming towards you okay you have the world card here okay you completed some cycle some of you guys are still protecting yourself though okay uh with the nine of wands but i don't feel like in a negative way you're just taking care of yourself you have the king of pentacles at the heart of the matter you have the hermit card going deep within okay Ooh. and the page of wands here so you guys are manifesting hey with the page of wands there but the hermit card is also letting me know that um you're growing from your experiences okay um yeah all right you're growing from your experiences and you're becoming more wiser um every day every moment here you're tapping into your inner self um i just feel like there's a lot of wisdom surrounding this hermit card here or enlightenment okay you're learning about yourself you're learning about your spiritual um side as well here for some reason it feels like that let's take a look you have the nine of swords knight of swords Ooh. Lovers coming out, Ten of Pentacles, Five of Swords. Why is that Five of Swords here? Don't be confused, Sagittarius. Okay. I feel like they're saying with the Nine of Swords clarifying this world card that this may be the end of confusion here. You may find your way out of confusion or feeling trapped or feeling lost in your mind here or worrying. That's the word that they're giving, worrying about things, worrying if you're going to be uh, okay financially, emotionally, um, worrying if you're going to find love because i feel like you will here okay you may be meeting someone earth sign here maybe a gemini as well you have the lover's card coming up they're saying you have options you will have options in love love is coming towards you that's why they're saying do something nice for someone else here okay and manifest your lover into your life you can do this all right this lover will come in but they're going to be very stable with that king of pentacles they're going to take their time with you what you need okay i'm saying this because you're <laughs> i feel like you're in a mood for some reason like there's a um, not necessarily rapid movement that you're making here but the page of pentacles it's like you want um new energy you're ready to get out there and really show uh show what you have show your shit okay you have the five of swords here um yeah 
there's this feeling like people may not understand you. They don't have to. You need to understand you. Don't worry about them. Okay. Don't worry about how others other people feel about you okay because you know where you want to be in your life you know what path you want to be on you know you what you want to achieve here and i feel like you will be able to reach new heights here you have the ten of cup ten of pentacles not cups ten of pentacles okay um there's a lover though sagittarius that's going to help you reach these new heights i feel like you should expect some communication or a lover coming in or options being presented offers of love being given to you here okay someone's attracted to your light look he's sitting on the cliff right there like beaming all right but they think that you are wise they think that you're smart you're very spiritual okay and they're this may be someone older that is attracted to you okay they're going to bring in a lot of stability a lot of comfort creature comforts okay with finances in their uh, stable, they're not the type that will uh, just jump ship. That's what I'm feeling here, okay? They won't jump ship when some shit go down, okay? Or something goes wrong or you find yourself um, caught in your emotions or caught in your head, okay? I feel like this person will help you um, or at least listen to you and give you good advice encourage you to go towards your dreams here okay be in the present and dream of the future and this person is stable enough to do that that's what i'm feeling here okay for some reason it feels like other offers over here with the nine of wands you may have people that rush up to you with the knight of swords that's a knight of swords okay very quickly here okay but you don't find interest in people like that you try to guard yourself against people that um have the potential to just be in and out of your life give a little attention and then be gone okay you're looking for a stable relationship and at the heart of the matter that's exactly what you're going to get this person got they shit together okay that's what i'm feeling here Ooh, this card look good y'all y'all see that get no closer okay it looks good it looks like there's a lot of passion that's going to flow uh between you two a lot of understanding good communication okay i feel like you will choose wisely just put your mind in the right place here um and don't forget what you're trying to work towards stability comfort building this family tree here okay um and really planting your roots with someone that um, that's worth planting with, okay? Let's take a look here. That makes sense to you guys. We're going to use some Kipper cards to see what other clarification we can bring out. Okay. All right. There they go. Hello. Okay. You have Coffin here. That's why I said this is the end of confusion or you feeling out of place, uh, feeling like I'm not I don't want to say that, but I'm going to say it feeling like you're crazy. OK, like there's no understanding. People don't understand you. You can't find anyone that understands you that you can uh, speak that love language to. OK, Sagittarius, you will find someone. Yes, you will. OK, so this is the ending. And new and better things will move towards you here. There's a change coming, all right, um, towards you being alone if you're single, okay? Um, you needing to guard yourself. I feel like you're going to be open with this person. They're going to think about you a lot. They're going to want to be in your presence to encourage you to talk to you, to see what's in your mind, okay? Okay. Um, to be there for you. That's what I'm feeling here. You have official person that's clarifying the Ten of Pentacles and the Hermit card, okay? They're a stand-up person. I feel like they're rooted. They have good roots, okay? And you have mature woman here. This is how they feel about you. You're full of life. Mature woman, mature man, whoever you are out there, okay? But they feel like you are mature enough to have a relationship with, to settle down with, or to at least start, kick off something with, okay? They look at you in a positive way. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm going to keep the lover's card there. It feels so comforting. <laughs> okay, 
Sagittarius, let's take a look at this love. And the cards here for Sagittarius. Look at that. Chemistry and you deserve love. Yes, you do. What message do you have for my Sagittarius here in August? Thank you. Yes, you will. Getting to know each other very soon. Yes. Yes. Okay. Ooh, what is that? Unrequited love. That's what you've been dealing with. Unrequited love is is sitting here at the heart of the matter. You've been dealing with unrequited love, but change is coming. Okay. And the soulmate is coming in. I want y'all read. Give me a reading. Let your friends help you. That's the card here. Okay. Maybe a friend of a friend. They may know your friends. You may hook up with this person through a friend. Okay, or well, your friends are giving you good advice and encouraging you themselves here. Okay, I'm gonna grab this crazy. It says soulmate right under the deck here. All right, yes, this is your soulmate. Whoever this is coming in, they may have earth energy somewhere in their chart. If not, that's fine. Okay, this person just has very mature and stable mind and spirit okay getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost self to each other your bond deepens Ooh. relationship evolving to the next phase healing the inner child okay and growth between you and someone else didn't i just say excuse me didn't i just say something about an inner child i think i did very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now this person manifest your partner here that's what i said before yes they are stable the card is a palm tree here okay stability security growth endurance and flexibility this person will be flexible with you they will be very stable for you why Un unrequited love <laughs> ah ah Okay, unrequited love, Sagittarius. They're saying, you know that partner that you let go of, that partner that you let go of? Okay, that probably was a, a karmic relationship. Don't, that was a lesson, okay? So um, you can bypass people that have that type of spirit. May not be that person, um, but let me get my thoughts together here, okay? That type of energy, okay? That's what I'm trying to say. As this karmic person, I feel like it's someone that you're not with anyone. Someone that you had unrequited love with, okay? Fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment. It says lessons, okay? And I just said that. It was a lesson, okay? Lesson learned. Letting go and loving you, okay? Right now at this moment. They're saying let that go. Don't let it destroy you. Don't let it have you all fudged up in the head that's why you have the um nine of swords and the five of swords and the other spread okay because this person is still energetically trying to hold on to you let them go okay get them off your facebook off your instagram get their ass off okay soulmate <laughs> keep its arrow clarifying soulmate so someone else is coming in and it's nice and it's going to feel stable, okay? Have faith, love is coming. Surprise invitation or meeting, okay? And some hesitation. A lot of people are getting that. I love it when Cupid's arrow shoots his bow, okay? Let your friends help you. They're saying acts and, and accept support from others, okay? Talking. Someone's going to be interested in you conversing more. A weighted message arrives, text, call, email, hovering, DMs, text, whatever. Okay? FaceTime, your time, they time. It's your time. Okay. I'm crazy. This is damn coffee. I love this. I don't drink it every day because I don't want to get addicted. But damn. Okay? It's nice. Let's see what message is here. I don't know if this message will be from an unrequited love or from a new love. Okay, but we're going to get this message out. What does this lover want to say to Sagittarius?
What does this letter want to say to my Sages? I don't know how I feel anymore. This is why you need to know how you feel, okay? So you'd be like, I'm sorry you're feeling that way, okay? I'm finally feeling the consequences of my actions. This is from an unrequited love. Our connection still affects me. Didn't I tell you that they're holding on to you? Okay, their energy is still very present with you, even if they're not with you, okay? They still think about you. That's okay. You're moving on, Sagittarius, all right? They're saying, please don't take what happened personally. It's not you. It is me, okay? And I need more time to figure things out. The world card is saying you've, you've completed a cycle already. You are done with any karmic relationships. You've paid your debt off. It's time to get off of the karmic will, okay? It's time to start receiving blessings right now. Let's get a message from... I need to quit drinking that shit. <laughs> I'm shaky. I'm shaky, Okay. Give me a message here for Sagittarius. What message do you have here for Sag? One more time, y'all. Uh-huh. There it is. There it is. Everyone is getting this card. They're like, slow down. Take a deep breath. Everything is going to be fine. The universe is sorting shit out for you. Take time to breathe out, Sagittarius, okay? Take time to breathe. <laughs> uh, who else got this? Scorpio just got this. Expect powerful change, okay, in your life, period. Adjustments are required. Maybe mentally, you need to release a situation. Release something that happened to you. Release someone that happened to you, okay? <laughs> hey <laughs> they're saying the end of a tough cycle approaches and it's coming okay sagittarius so you can let it go you can be free and happy that i think we saw the page of wands but i feel like you you're going to be free okay have some new fresh energy new love coming in new opportunities and you're going to feel good about these changes coming in because i feel good can't you feel it <laughs> That is your reading, Sagittarius, for August 2020. Someone rise at Venus sign. Thank you guys so much for coming back to watch your reading. I do appreciate it. Make sure you like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Share it on your social media platforms, okay? And take care of yourself. I'll see you later. Bye.